how can you use audience involvement to better sell your idea every time you speak? The answer to that question can be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In a previous video, you heard how audience attention spans are much shorter today. And because of that, we have to constantly change up how we're delivering our information and our presentations. One of the ways to do that is to have audience involvement in your presentation. There are many ways to do this. There's no right or wrong. Most importantly, this has to match your personality. I have sat in audiences where the speaker asked me to stand up, high five another person, talk to them, say things like, oh yeah, that works for those speakers. I personally can't stand that. I just don't like it. I'm not going to ask my audience to do it. Audience involvement is important because in every group you talk to, there are different types of personalities. There are auditory people. They want to hear everything. That's how they learn best. There are visual people. That's the most common personality type. They need to see you. They need to see pictures or videos on the screen. They need to see handouts. The third type of personality is the kinesthetic. This is a person who's driven by feel, by emotion, by touch. Now, by touch, I mean, they don't, I don't want them running around touching each other in the audience because that makes too many people uncomfortable. But by touch, I mean, give them something to do with their hands. There are handouts. They need to write. Or sometimes I'll do a change exercise that involves changing their clothes around so that gets their hands involved. And this is why activities are so important. I love to give handouts with very little information on it. I want them to take what I say and interpret in their own words and write it out. One of my favorite activities is something called Discuss and Debrief. At the end of each point that I make, and also at the end of my presentation, I like to pair people up so they can talk to one another. They can discuss ideas they've gotten that they can immediately put to use after my presentation. This allows them to share what they've learned and get their emotions involved. So look for audience activities that you can use to appeal to that type of personality in your audience. Now that you've learned all about anchors, in the next video, you'll learn about the R in the parts formula. Talk to you then.